And I think that I can speak for all of the instructors when I say that we all look forward to these events each time we have the opportunity to do them. It's a unique form of continuing education and a unique opportunity to share information and collaborate with colleagues in a real hands-on environment. There's and no doubt that between Richard and Cooper and Philippe and I, we all have a different angle on how we perceive a horse and how we evaluate a horse and, and what we expect uh, to happen going forward uh, to some degree. And I think um, that, that that sort of uniqueness, yet at the same time, we share a lot of common perspectives. And I think that, the, that it creates a nice balance. Well, I think when I approach an exam, it's, I make an effort to go beyond just the, what's here and now. I think it's important to make an effort to dig deeper and understand how we got to this point. We always think of, an, of a lameness exam as a snapshot of time, and for sure that's true, but I think there's a lot of opportunities to gain insight into the historical uh, uh, relevance of, of, of what's been going on that led us to this point in time. And I think um, that's an important aspect of, of, of doing a good job. Over the years of participating as an instructor in this course, each time I've learned something, uh, I think that, you know, sort of each experience reminds me of, of the necessity of, of developing a consistent approach in a lameness exam and reminds me of the necessity of, of a discipline in the process uh, in order to uh, just fundamentally do the work to understand the diagnosis in the proper detail. Um, I'm sort of reminded of that, grounded by that in each of these uh, opportunities.